Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Greg Bennett and I'll be talking to you about the new Ethan Hart guitars. And this is a line of electric guitars dedicated to high performance. Now before we get into looking at guitars, I want to talk a bit about performance and ultimately what that means to the player. In this context, performance is how fast, how intense, and how strong that note is when you first hit it. It's about how long the sustain continues on for and also about the sense of mechanical power or feel that you get from that. Tone, of course, is about treble and bass, but in this project, the mid-range became critical, that elusive mid-range that is both powerful and defined. As our tagline, Sonic Aggression, suggests, the primary initiative or goal for Ethan Hart guitars is to push the accepted boundaries of performance. And this is not just about output or volume. This is about a significant increase in that feeling, that gut level feeling of physical or mechanical power. The sense that there is a wall of sonic aggression flying off the front of that stage or out of your amplifier. And to do it without sacrificing tone. As we progress through this material, you'll learn that the attributes that allow, underline the word allow, the attributes that allow for performance are at odds or cross purposes with the attributes that create tone. I'll need to ask you to bear with me on this next section for just a moment um, because this may be the most important thing you take away from this whole session. The guitar turns out to be a perfect real life lesson in Newton's first law of motion. And the law says that the velocity of an object, in this case the guitar string, the velocity of an object stays constant unless acted upon by an external force. So there's your guitar sitting in a stand and those strings are still. The law says they'll remain still forever until you come along and strum them. And then in Newton's perfect world, once you've strummed those strings, they will stay in motion forever until acted upon by an external force. The force here, that external force, is the guitar. The physical nature of the guitar is what ultimately brings the string to rest. So the guitar at its most basic level is a system of components that serve as a platform for the strings and determine how well they'll perform. It's the inescapable reality of nature, not the brand name, that determines this. And just imagine you can change any component on this guitar and, and it will change the way the instrument sounds. The strings come along and rest in the nut, as you know, and typically that might be a bone material. Well imagine instead if that nut was made out of titanium, or lead, or wood, or stone, or rubber. The physical characteristics of harder, denser materials that improve string performance and the design and construction techniques that further exploit those characteristics do so by creating a platform that steals less or absorb less energy off of the string. So why go through all this? Why do this? A person, a player, has an idea. And they think about that idea and decide they want to turn it into a musical idea. And so their heart and their emotions begin to color that idea. And eventually, there's a real passion attached to it. And this player decides he wants to communicate that with an audience. So he picks up a guitar. And in that moment, the guitar becomes the link between those things he wants to express and the audience. And when that guitar, because of the physical characteristics, the natural character of the guitar, allows him to tap into those emotions, when he digs into that string and he can feel that passion tearing out of the front of the amplifier to the audience, he's made that connection. If the guitar comes up short, if it can't do this, if you have to modify a voltage with a circuit, you create a distance, a gap, or even a wall between you and that audience. And this is not about a particular musical style. This is about you as an individual player connecting in a very human way with the audience in a way that they believe, they feel what you're feeling. And finally, just a word about the tone of this presentation. As I was working on the material designed, of course, to explain all of these performance improvements, it began to sound a bit boastful, uh, and I was up to my kneecaps in, in superlatives. 
So let me just be very clear that the very best guitar, the perfect guitar for anyone, any player, is the guitar that they're most comfortable with. The guitar that, whether you're uh, practicing or recording or performing, allows you most easily to tap into your talent and to express those emotions that you want to express. And again, this is just another way to make a guitar, and we hope that people that are interested in high performance will like them.